Hi, I'm Glenn Killian. I'm the director of the Human Services Program at Lone Star College of Montgomery. And I want to use this video to just talk a little bit about the different degrees and awards that we offer within Human Services. It's one of the most common questions that we get from both prospective students and even current students. Just the, the question around what kinds of classes do we offer, what kind of degrees do we offer. And so I want to sort of spend some time today in this video just kind of highlighting a few key things and try to answer a few questions if I can. And I'm going to reference this handout right here. If you're taking an online class with me and you're watching this video, well, then this handout is provided for you uh, in the classroom. If you're taking a face-to-face on-campus class with me, well, then this handout is probably on the information table at the front of whatever classroom you're in. It may be on a copied on a pink piece of paper because most often uh, we copy it on pink. Uh, But either way, I'm going to reference this as kind of a guide. I created this uh, flyer many, many years ago. There's nothing new on the flyer that's not already online and through our human services website on our Lone Star, uh, on the Lone Star website, also too in our catalog. Um, But I I created the flyer because it just kind of gave a really simple overview uh, for students of the different classes and degrees that we offer. And so I want to just kind of highlight, if I can real quickly, uh, a couple of things off of that handout related to the different uh, the, d- the different degrees um, that we offer. I want to also highlight this too, not to be confusing for you, but the requirements as listed on this handout are for students who have started in at Lone Star in the fall 2023 semester or later, August 2023 or later. As written, these are the requirements for those students. If you have been a student at Lone Star for longer than that, you may have to kind of go back and remember when did you enter Lone Star or when did you set a degree plan. If it was prior to August of 2023, the requirements for you might be slightly different, not not, um, seriously different, but slightly different than what's on here. And I would just encourage you, if that's you, to make sure that you just visit with your advisor or find a good advisor on one of our campuses and let them Uh, verify what classes you need. But this is just a good reference point for us to kind of work from today. And basically the easiest way to understand what we do in human services is we have two different tracks. Uh, There are two general kind of paths that students study on with us. There is addictions or drug and alcohol counseling, and then there's what we call general human services. And I want to talk a little bit about both of those tracks because that's one of the things that is sometimes confusing for students. So I want to talk about first the general human services track. So many students are drawn to human services because they want to work with other people. They want to become a counselor or a case manager or a social worker or something like that. And they want to work with children, with the elderly, with teenagers. They want to work with people who are homeless. They want to do family counseling. They want to become a clinical social worker. They want to work for CPS or in the Women's Center. All of those general human services kinds of places. And many, many students, many of you listening to this video, that's kind of maybe who you are. Or maybe you don't know. You're not quite sure what you want to do in the field of human or social services, but you know that you want to work with people. You're probably on our general track then. And our general track is basically just a a, a degree plan, a pathway of degree for students that really want to work with the general population, right? And we have two different degrees that we offer for those students, and you'll see them on this handout. The first is what's called our Human Services Certificate, and then the second is our Associate of Applied Sciences, our AAS degree, with a general human services concentration. And so if you look on the handout that I was referencing, you'll see both of those degrees. And you'll see that for both of those degrees, we'll start with the certificate, that the Human Services Certificate has seven or eight human services classes that you're required to take to get that certificate. And it really is designed the Human Services Certificate, to give you a a general base of information, give you a good foundation to kind of stand on where you take a class on ethics, on counseling skills, on group dynamics, on family. Uh, You take a class on theories. Uh, Just a good overview and a good foundation to kind of get you kind of going in, in the field of social services and human services, kind of get your education kind of started. A lot of our students who come into our program who are on the general track They start with the Human Services Certificate. Now, you don't have to do that, but a lot of students start with the Human Services Certificate. The Human Services Certificate only contains human service classes. 
There are no general core academic classes. There's no psychology. There's no biology. There's no English. It's just human services classes. So if you're just getting started with this, the human services certificate might be a good pathway for you to kind of get on. It takes you about two and a half semesters or so if you're going to school full time to, to complete all of the classes in the human services certificate. The good news about the human services certificate, as is true with the other certificate I'll mention here in a second, is that every single class in the human services certificate transfers over to our AAS, our associate's degree with a general human services concentration. So while you're working on your certificate, you really are working on your associate's degree. Once you finish your certificate, what most students do is they, they, they finish their certificate and then they begin and focus on the associate's degree. And the associate's degree, again, all your human service classes count towards that degree, but also too then in your associate's degree, that's when the core academic classes come in like psychology and sociology and English and biology. Some of those core academic classes kind of come in. And on the back side of this form, so the front side has is the crosswalk, we call it, the, different, the, the four different degrees that we offer. On the back side, it lists the core academic classes, the non-human services classes, that you would have to complete to get the associate's degree. So the, the human services certificate for general human services students applies and rolls over into our general human services associate of applied sciences, AAS degree. So we have many, many students, and my hunch is many of you who are listening to me, uh, you're studying on our general track. This is, so so for, for you, you are looking at, you, you are interested in working with any number of different kind of populations. You know this if you've been in any of our classes. One of the great things about human services is we're a very diverse program. We have students who are in their early 20s all the way up until their, their late 60s. We have students that want to work with young people. We have students that want to work with older people and everywhere in between. We have students that want to start their own agency and build their own program and manage a nonprofit agency. We have some students that want to work in prisons or in jails. Uh, everywhere in between, this, the, this broad field of human services, and, and many come into our program and they study on our general track. So the first track that you can study on in human services is our general human services track. The second track is more specific. Uh, and, and it is our substance abuse counseling track. And my hunch is, again, that many of you who are listening to me, that maybe that's why you're interested in human services, is you're interested in becoming a drug and alcohol counselor. And we offer within our program, again, two degrees, just like on the, on the general track, related to drug and alcohol or substance abuse counseling. And again, there's a certificate and there's an AAS. So the certificate on the drug and alcohol counseling track is called the Basic Chemical Dependency Counseling Certificate. Sometimes it's referred to by students as the LCDC certificate because many students who study on our drug and alcohol counseling track want to become licensed in the state of Texas as licensed chemical dependency counselors or LCDCs. If you've been in some classes with this, you probably have heard those initials before, LCDC. And so the drug and alcohol certificate, the basic chemical dependency counselor certificate, is like the general certificate, is designed to kind of give students a, a, a very basic foundation to build on. Seven or eight classes, something you can do in a couple of different semesters. In a couple of different semesters, uh, all of the classes in the drug and alcohol certificate again roll over into our our uh, AAS degree with this with the drug and alcohol counseling concentration, and so two certificates and both um, and, and and the information on both is very very similar. With the drug and alcohol certificate again, foundational classes. You're going to take a class on pharmacology. You're going to take a class on counseling approaches related to drug and alcohol counseling. You're going to take an introduction to drug and alcohol substance use disorders. You're going to take, again, a group dynamics class, a basic counseling skills class, an ethics class. You're going to do a practicum as well at the very, very end. And so, again, a basic foundation for all who are interested in drug and alcohol counseling. All of those classes then apply and roll over to the associate's degree. And I want to say a couple of things about the certificates and the associate's degree. So this would apply to everybody. So number one, we encourage all of our students, unless you already have a college degree. Some of you who are listening to me, you already have an associate's degree. You may already have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. But the majority of our students who come in to our program do not already hold a college level degree. So for all of those students, we really and strongly encourage people to not just get the certificates, but to get the associate's degree. You're going to need at least the associate's degree, no matter what you want to do in our field, unless you already hold a college degree. 
So that so there's a few of our students in our program who already have college degrees, but most of you listening to me, you don't you don't have a degree, you don't have an associate's degree, you don't have a bachelor's degree. So we always encourage students to start with the certificate, but continue on and finish the associate's degree. Like I said before, the good news is all of your certificate classes roll over and transfer into the associate's degree. So that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to say is this. Although we have two different tracks, drug and alcohol counseling and general human services, you are able to get both certificates no matter what track you're studying on. And many, many students choose to do that. Uh, so for example, a student studying general human services, working on the human services certificate, often decides to get the basic drug and alcohol certificate as well, and you can do that because many of the same classes apply. You don't have to do that, but many students choose to get both certificates. The other way is all, the other way around is also not uncommon. Students studying to become drug and alcohol counselors realize, hey, if I just take two or three extra classes, I can also get the human services certificate. So you can get both certificates if you like. Many students choose to do that so that it, it, it's something that sort of can look good on your resume. It allows you to take a couple of additional classes, kind of rounds out your education and your understanding. So you're able to get both certificates if you want to, or you can just choose the certificate that fits with whatever track you're on. So again, I would just encourage you to grab the handout, get a, get a, get a, get a good overview basically of who we are and what kind of classes that we offer. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me or one of your human services professors. You can visit with any advisor. I, I would encourage you to find an advisor, maybe on a campus that is familiar with the human services program, and let them guide you as we kind of go along. I'm glad that you're interested in human services. If you're already enrolled in taking classes with us, I'm glad you're studying with us, and I appreciate you joining us.